Hello and welcome to this MacBook Pro upgrade video. In this video I will be replacing the hard drive with a solid state drive and I will be upgrading the RAM from 4GB to 8GB. I am going with a Kingston theme here on this upgrade. You can see the details of the components on the screen now. In the end of the video I will show you the results on this upgrade and talk a little bit about how the performance has changed within my MacBook Pro. What I did was that I filmed the upgrade directions a few weeks ago and I've been testing the SSD and the RAM since then. Before I start doing anything I would like to say a big thank you to Lund Public Relations for providing me with these products for testing purposes. They do some great public relations work for companies and you will be seeing some more reviews on my channel of products that they have provided me with that I am in the middle of testing. The Kingston SSD Now 100V edition came with a very good cloning software that you can boot from. Unfortunately it does not work on Mac OS X so I did some research and I came across a free application called Super Duper that I was able to use as a cloning software for the hard drive to the solid state drive. The solid state drive also came with a very nice enclosure that has a boss powered USB port and of course a USB cable. We start by putting the SSD into the enclosure and we connect it to the MacBook Pro in order to format it so we will work with the Mac. We do that by going into Spotlight and typing in Disk Utility. From there you can select the external SSD and go to the Erase tab which will format it. Select Mac OS Extended Journal and then name the drive whatever you want and click Erase. This process will take a few seconds. Then open up Super Duper and select the MacBook Pro drive as the first option and the SSD as the second option. Then click on Copy Now. This process will take up to a few hours and when it's done just click OK and you have an exact copy of your hard drive. Then turn off your computer, disconnect all cables and begin opening the computer. And now onto the installation, just flip the computer around. I'll start by showing you some of the tools that you'll need. You'll need a pretty small Phillips head screwdriver in order to remove the case and the hard drive bracket. And then you'll need a T6 Torx screwdriver. You can see the end right here. This is to remove screws that are attached to, to the drive inside the computer. Here you can see the enclosure that the SSD came in. It's a really nice enclosure and you can use the uh, solid state drive as an external drive as well. You can even use the hard drive inside the computer uh, as an external drive in this uh, in this enclosure, which is really cool. So you'll know that your hard drive isn't going into complete waste. So using your small Phillips head screwdriver, just start by removing these uh, these screws on the bottom. This is a very simple operation, so uh, just follow up what I'm doing. And just lift the cover up and you'll see all the components that are on inside the computer. We'll start with the hard drive. You'll start by needing to remove two screws that will release a bracket that are holding the drive in place. These screws won't really come out, they're also attached to the bracket, so uh, you're not going to be losing them easily. And just pull on the hard drive and disconnect the serial ATA connector. And now you have to remove these screws that are on the side of the drive using your Torx uh, T6 screwdriver that I told you about earlier. The purpose of these screws are to hold the drive in place when inside the computer instead of needing to apply some kind of a bracket. And now we'll just put these screws inside the solid state drive. Speed this up a little. This actually takes some time and patience so... Uh, Make sure you have enough time. Then you just need to connect the drive to the serial AGA connector. It only goes in one way, so it's very easy. Then you just need to line everything up. It should just drop down, but if you're having some issues, just realign it and it should drop right down, like you saw here. Then install the bracket. And attach the two screws, of course. And that's the drive installed, and now onto the RAM. Removing the RAM is very simple. So we got one of the 2GB modules out, you just pull on the tab. And uh, they will just pop out, as you can see here on the frame. And we'll now install the new RAM. It comes in this kind of a box, or packaging. Just remove those. And now I just need to install them. They will only go in it one way, so uh, it's going to be pretty simple. You just put them in the uh, in the port and push it down. 
So that's it for the hardware upgrade. Now it's just to put the cover back on. Now note that uh, when installing the cover, uh, three screws are actually bigger than some of the others. So uh, the ones on the uh, bottom left corner are a little bigger than the others. Now after using the MacBook Pro for about 3 weeks with the Kingston solid state drive and the 8GB of RAM I have found a lot of difference in performance. With the solid state drive applications open up a lot faster I am able to open up big programs such as Logic Pro 9 or Photoshop in about 3 seconds comparing to almost 10 seconds on the hard drive. Solid state drives are a lot faster than hard drives, they are lighter, completely quiet, stay cool and they last longer. They may not have a very high capacity but like I said earlier Earlier, you can use the old hard drive as an external drive with the enclosure the Kingston includes in the box, so nothing goes to waste. The RAM increased performance along applications and I am able to have a lot more stuff open without the system slowing down. This is definitely an upgrade that I recommend, everything runs a lot faster and it's amazing to feel the difference. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Thank you very much for watching, if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave one in the comment section below. If you liked the video, hit the like button, and if you want more videos, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video.